that forms on a commodity like sugar can repeat in similar form on an equity price chart in a completely different time frame. For this reason, I find classical charting principles a great tool to analyze price change in global financial markets. Here you can see two charts that are showing similarities in geometric forms. And these are, as I will discuss in the remainder of my presentation, are, are called chart patterns. A year-long symmetrical triangle on sugar price between 2010 and 2009 is repeating almost in the same form in the recent example between 2016 2017 on a stock on an equity listed on the New York Stock Exchange, John Wiley. The breakouts are taking place in a similar way with a strong price action towards the chart pattern price target. We have eight major chart patterns that I focus. For chart pattern identification, I'm focusing on some of the major classical chart patterns. Most of them are chart patterns with horizontal boundaries, which I find more reliable when compared with breakouts from chart patterns with diagonal boundaries. My website has an extensive educational content for those who are new to classical charting principles. In this presentation, I want to focus on some of the advanced topics in classical charting. These are the eight major classical chart patterns. The first one on the left-hand side is ascending triangle with a, with a horizontal boundary. Cup with handle, again, another uh, chart pattern with the horizontal boundary, the cup and the handle formation. Rectangle um, can form as a, a continuation chart pattern in the middle of a trend 